All right, so we're about 30 minutes out of Mardi Gras craziness. We're ready to party. The question is, are we heading to New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans, the Big Easy, NOLA? Help us Aussies out so we say it right. Oh, Hopefully we won't get in too trouble. Everybody knows that. New Orleans. New Orleans. <laughs> well, I've asked several people and um, there's been a few alternatives, so. New Orleans. We're going to go with New Orleans. Or I'm just going to say NOLA. It's just easier. But yeah, looking forward to um, checking it out over the next couple of days. It's been a bucket list item of ours for many years. And uh, we've got the costumes ready. Ready to catch beads and all the shenanigans. Just Ready, saw Clara? the floats. We just saw some of the floats. Yeah, we just saw some of the floats. We're heading um, south on Interstate 10. Last night we come from Montgomery. It's about a two and a half hour drive down to uh, New Orleans. And we're going to get there about 2 p.m. on Monday. Tomorrow's Fat Tuesday, uh, which is going to be awesome. Uh, we've got a few parades to check out this afternoon and tonight. So, What's yeah. Tomorrow? Ah, touchdown in New Orleans. Just looking for our hotel. We're staying the next couple of nights at the Whitney Hotel. How are we going for directions? Uh, I think our Google Maps is having a nightmare at the moment. They're not talking to me. Talk to us, Google Maps. Oh yeah, excited to be here. The city centre. What's the number? There we go. Ooh. Oh, that's a nice little entryway. I like that. You don't walk straight into the... Oh, this is really quite large. Ah! There we go. Get separate bedrooms. Yay. Yay. There we go. Bathroom. Mum and Dad's room. Oh, we have TV. Wait, I'm showing this. So this is our room. Okay, nice. so we're ready. Savannah, so turn around and show us what you look like. So, whoa! Where's your bracelet? Getting ready, and I'm my. Don't you usually let the girls wear makeup, but I got purple makeup, so I like um eyeshadow. So it's Mardi Gras. Why not? Mum is ready. Yeah, I am. Would you like to come to Mardi Gras with me? No. <laughs> oh, was that going? Savannah's ready. Yeah. Make sure you focus on Daddy's ready. I'm ready. Uh, uh, Clara's ready. Now heading off and we are super excited. Wait, wait, guys, We're all ready legs. in our costumes. I lost my legs. You lost your legs? But we don't have our masks on yet. We're going to put them on when we get there. Who's getting a hot dog? You getting a hot dog? Yeah. How are you, sir? Hey, how are you doing? Thank you. You make the best hot dogs in town? Oh, good. If you think, best is always a relative term. So if yeah. you like it, it's the best. I'm sure she'll be happy, man. Hopefully. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you, sir. Happy London and Barney. Yeah. 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 Show me your hot dog, darling. Yummy. Yummy. Lara's just seen her first man dressed up as Elsa. <laughs> and uh, so we've had a talk about how it's okay to dress up as Elsa, anyone can. And we're in Mardi Gras. It's the festival. 
for fun and love and celebration. Do you want to say where we are, what we're doing? We are at Sumps Square and we're about to watch a parade. Do you know what parade's coming? Orpheus Parade! Orpheus Parade! It's coming! It's coming! Look. Because <laughs> in, in New Orleans for Mardi Gras, and there's lots of different parades. Hey, guess what? Guess what? We're right on the edge because there's no one really here at the moment, but they're going to cut coming over. We're going to be at the front, so. Because all the crowds somewhere else, and we know a secret spot, don't we? Yeah, because we know the parade's coming this way, so we just. See, so the parade's coming from that way, and to the left, quite a parallel to us is where they're coming from. And there's, there's like no people here. Thousands of people there. But there's People and here. there's no one here, so there's a tip for you. We will find out how to pronounce the street name and we'll tell you. This is right near where the Orpheus Parade ends. And I don't know, no one got the memo, I guess. This is where you come, beat the crowds. So we're very happy. We can kind of hear them in the distance coming. So anyone who knows me knows that I cannot pronounce names, I'm terrible, but I'm going to have a go at this one. Tau Shout Petulus Street. Shout Petulus Street. That's where you want to come at the end of the Orpheus Parade. One moment, sweetheart, so that uh, you're away from the crowds and you get a good position. The float should be here soon, so you're going to see on the video in a minute whether we do have good views or not, but I'm guessing unless they suddenly change where they're going, it's going to be pretty awesome. The floats are finally here. We've been waiting for ages, haven't we? It's like yeah. nine and we got here at seven. It's freezing too, by the way. What's the story, Nola? We thought you were going to be warm, but it feels like New York cold. But the floats are here. And we got beads. We've been throwing beads already. Time to collect more. Morning guys, well, after a fun night at the Orpheus Parade last night, we're getting ready for Fat Tuesday, which is Mardi Gras Day, and getting dressed up as love bugs. Red is the colour. Looking cute, darling, love your wings. Ah, show me. That's beautiful. Good morning from Fat Tuesday, the end of the Mardi Gras Festival, and one of the biggest days of of the uh, season. We are love bugs this morning. <laughs> we're heading out to see the Zulu uh, floats first. That's the first parade we're seeing this morning. And then we're heading to Ella Brennan's house to watch the Rex parade. Now, I only found out about Ella Brennan last week when I watched a documentary of hers on Netflix, um, Commanding the Table. And she is a, a legend in the restaurant industry, not just in New Orleans, but across America. She's been hugely influential in how the cuisine in New Orleans has evolved and become uh, one of the draw cards of the area. And um, she owns multiple restaurants in the city. The famous one is Commander's, which has won awards for being the best restaurant 
in the US, so I'm like fangirling and just super excited to be going to her uh, place for a traditional New Orleans festive party with the locals. So this is gonna be awesome, but for now, let's go check out this Zulu break. We haven't even hit 9 o'clock yet, we've got so many photos and videos. We're having an awesome time, we've got beads. Touch beads, Savannah. This is just mad. <laughs> it's only like 9.30 in the morning and yeah, people are having some fun. It's going to be a long day. So what you see behind me here are ladders um, for people to stand up to watch a parade. So it's a great idea if you come to Mardi Gras, bring your ladder. Pretty crazy. We're just walking along the one of the main streets in New Orleans, in between parades. I almost got hit by a football then. And there's just people everywhere. Let's do a 360. I don't know where we're heading. We're heading to get a better spot for the parades, but that's just uh, colourful, loud, fun, and smelling all the great food is just like making me hungry. Honey. All the girls were having a little break from the parades, hanging out at the Brennan's house for a brunch before the next lot of fun begins. We're at the Love Bug Party. Hey. We've got King Rex, he's just stopped out right in front of us and he's going into the house across the way because that's where the original King Rex lived and he's going to do a toast. is a street on St. Charles Avenue where the Rex Parade is coming through. It's the last parade for Mardi Gras. How's the love bugs? This is insane fun. I recommend everyone do this once in their lifetime, at least. I'm coming back next year, the year after, the year love after Love bug that. children! <laughs> Run out. Hello. They have collected so many beads and knickknacks. Look up there, there are millions of beads in here. Where's our bag? Where's our bag? Where's our bag? Oh, our treasure chest is down there. All our goodies are in there. All right, here comes another tractor. Here comes another tractor. Oh, fun fact. Do you know they measure the success of a Mardi Gras by how much trash they collect? So, I don't like to say this, but maybe dump your trash so you can show that it's a huge success.
after a fantastic day out there with the parades and collecting truckloads of beads, we're sitting down to a lovely meal at Briquettes. Starting off with tomato soup because it's good for the soul after a good day out of festivities. And this is, we're going seafood mad tonight. Yeah, no we got seafood. these, uh, look at this tower of mussels and some yummy fries underneath and some broiled oysters with spinach and arugula. Savannah has somewhere already demolished her uh, meal. How many, darling? Um, for, our, for our Australian viewers, arugula, do you know what it is? Maybe pop it down in the comments, but let me tell you. Arugula is rocket. When I rocket. first was in America and people were telling me how much they love arugula, I'm like, what is arugula? And they showed me and I went, that's rocket. Yeah. And go. we've got a nice bottle of Merlot from uh, Sonoma in California. So, cheers. Yeah. Cheers to an awesome day at Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras. Clara had a, you got a Sprite? You want to cheers me with a Sprite? No? I wish I could have a Yeah, fun day. Just in case you didn't know, I'm sure you already know this, but just in case, at Mardi Gras, you have parades of floats and people stand in the floats, be in the floats, with questions on them, they throw stuff out to you, you have to try to catch it. Or after, there's like trucks where people dressed up in them, they throw stuff out to you. So much stuff being thrown out. And it? like, it's kind of dangerous because it really hurts when you try to catch the beads, because sometimes they're big. And also like, like a lot having them on my head. I got crashed in the head too. I think Mardi Gras is like a bunch of pirates coming home and sharing their bounty Luke. with everyone. It's just crazy. Whoa. What are you going to do with your bounty? I'm going. What are we going to do with that? I don't know. They must go through millions of beads every year. They probably have like more they obviously probably have more beads than people in the world. I think that we will have a Mardi Gras party every year so we out. can hand out those beads. How many Mardi Gras parties do you think it will take before we can get rid of all those beads? 100. I guess it depends on how many people you invite to your Mardi Gras party. <laughs> For us, we probably want to get like two. <laughs> well, that's not putting much confidence in... <laughs> our ability to entertain. Thank you for that. Thanks for following us. Be sure to connect with us on our other social channels below. And before you go, make sure you visit our website. You can get there by clicking the button below and collect your free Unplugged Travel Toolkit. That is going to give you all the resources you need to unplug from the chaos, follow your bliss, and we'll help you travel more with our five-step plan turning your travel dreams into reality. We'll see you there. Join us now.